As violence waged by armed gangs continues to dominate the Haitian capital, an increasing number of residents are fleeing elsewhere. According to the United Nations, more than 33,000 people left Port-au-Prince this month. Attacks and generalised insecurity are pushing more and more people to leave the capital to find refuge in provinces, taking the risks of passing through gang-controlled routes. The organisation says the provinces are not equipped with sufficient infrastructure or resources to accommodate those seeking refuge. Meanwhile, US officials have organised helicopters and flights to bring US nationals to safety as gang violence spreads across the country. The Biden administration says it hopes to see progress on the transitional council set to stand in for an absent government. Hopefully we'll see some movement here uh, in coming days about their selection of, of individuals uh, for governance in, in Haiti that can be credible and can meet the aspirations of the Haitian people. We're working with Kenya on a Kenyan-led multinational security support mission, which would not include U.S. Uh, uh, troops on the ground as part of that mission. But we are working with, uh, with Kenyans on what that could look like, what support they might need uh, externally from the United States. The nine members of the Transitional Council will meet this week with a delegation from the Caribbean community, according to Le Nouvelliste, Haiti's oldest daily newspaper. They're set to discuss how the council will function. On the ground, the humanitarian situation is growing increasingly dire. The UN says that almost half of Haiti's population is in need of humanitarian assistance.